Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Find the total area of the regions shaded in blue. The figure is constructed as follows. There are three circles of radius 2 that are pairwise tangent. A large circle is circumscribed about these three circles. We want the region that's contained by the large circle, excluding the region of the three small circles and the area that's in between the three small circles. We also want to add back in the three circular sectors that are formed between the three centers of the small circles. I thank Aditya for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To get started, we will recall a principle. If two circles are tangent, their centers and the tangent point are collinear. If we have circles A and B that are tangent at a point T, then draw the tangent line through the point T. AT will be perpendicular to the tangent line, and BT will also be perpendicular to the tangent line. Therefore, ATB will be a straight line segment. This is true for both externally and internally tangent circles. Now, let's solve the problem. We'll break down the total area of the regions shaded in blue as follows. It will be equal to the area bound by the large circle, subtracting out the areas of the three small circles. Then we subtract out the region that's in between the three small circles, and then we add back in the areas of the three circular sectors. We can further break down the area in between the three small circles, this will be equal to the area of the equilateral triangle formed between the three small circle centers, and then we subtract out the areas of the three circular sectors. So let's calculate this first area. This will be equal to the area of the large circle minus the areas of the three small circles. Let's suppose we knew the radius of the large circle is equal to r. Then its area would be equal to pi r squared. We know the radius of each of the small circles is equal to 2. So we want to subtract out 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by 2 squared. This simplifies to be 12 pi. So we have pi r squared minus 12 pi. But what's the radius of the large circle? Let's zoom in. Consider the centers of these circles and connect the centers of the small circles. Since the lower left circle is tangent to the large circle, we can construct a line between the centers of the circles and the tangent point. We can then drop a perpendicular from the center of the large circle to one of the sides of the equilateral triangle. This will be a right angle, and this will construct a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. We know that the radius of the small circle is equal to 2, which means that the other leg will be equal to 2 divided by the square root of 3. This means the hypotenuse of this triangle is twice that, which is 4 divided by the square root of 3. Then the radius of the small circle is equal to 2, which means the radius of the large circle is 2 plus 4 divided by the square root of 3. So we've solved for the radius of the large circle. We simply need to square it and then simplify. It results in the following expression. So we can substitute this back in, and we know that the area will be equal to the following. It'll be equal to pi multiplied by the quantity 16 divided by the square root of 3 minus 8 over 3. So we've solved for one part of the problem. We know this area. Let's now calculate the area that's in between the three small circles. This will be equal to the area of the equilateral triangle formed between the centers of the three small circles and then we need to subtract out the three areas of the circular sectors. So to calculate this area, we have an equilateral triangle that's formed between the centers of the three small circles. Since the radius of each small circle is equal to 2, the side of the equilateral triangle will be equal to 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. Then the area of an equilateral triangle is equal to s squared multiplied by the square root of 3 over 4. We substitute in and simplify to get that its area is equal to 4 times the square root of 3. We now need to calculate the total area of the three circular sectors. Since each circular sector has a central angle equal to 60 degrees, three of them together 
will form a central angle of 180 degrees. In other words, this is equivalent to the area of a semicircle with the radius equal to 2. So this will be equal to pi r squared divided by 2, and that is equal to 2 pi. So the area that's in between the three small circles is equal to 4 times the square root of 3 minus 2 pi. So we've calculated the second part of this expression. Then we recall that the areas of the three circular sectors together is equal to 2 pi. So we'll add that back in. So we've now figured out an expression for the total area of the regions shaded in blue. We just need to simplify this expression. We'll group all the terms that involve a pi, and then we'll subtract out 4 times the square root of 3. There are many ways to write the answer. I'll write it in the following form. It's equal to 4 over 3 times pi multiplied by the quantity 4 root 3 plus 1. Then subtract out 4 times the square root of 3. And this is approximately equal to 26.281. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.